Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about how you can mine two different coins with your gaming computer, your mining computer, or even just an old computer that you might have sitting around. So before we get into the video today, I do want to let you know that all the links to the sites and programs I talk about in this video are down in the description below if you're interested to check them out. Also down in the description is a link to my Discord if you're interested in that. It's a great place to learn about all things cryptocurrency and meet new people in the cryptocurrency space. Also, I've noticed a large number of you are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive post notification for whenever we upload a video here for you on Bitcoin Tips. So, also I do want to say a huge thank you to James P. and Brad Breyers. They are two members here on Bitcoin Tips, so I appreciate those um, memberships. So, let's get into the video today. So like I said, I'm going to be talking about how you can mine two different coins with one computer. So this is a really interesting um, program and, and service that allows you to mine two coins, which is always better than mining one. The two coins that we're going to be talking about mining are going to be Ethereum and Zill. So I talked about Zill in a previous video here because it's a really good coin for staking. Um, I'm getting about 20% per year with the Zill coin on the Zill network. So. It is number 49 on the coin market cap right now, and it's about 6.7 cents currently. There are predictions that this coin is going to go up quite a bit, but overall, it's really nice to, to be mining on one algorithm, one program, one computer, and be getting two coins. Because if this coin goes up to 10 cents and you've mined a few of them while mining Ethereum, then you're already making more money just because you were already mining a more popular coin like Ethereum. So. The way we're going to do this today is going to be using Phoenix Miner, which I do have linked down below, and I do already have it installed on my computer here. Um, and I do want to let you know that depending on the antivirus that you are using, you may have to create an exception for this miner to work uh, because it does generate a false positive with a lot of antivirus programs just because it does look like a virus. This is a safe download. If, as long as you use the link in the description, it's a safe download. I have downloaded it on my personal computer here and I have not had any issues. So once you do that, you'll see all these files here. The one that's highlighted, Start Miner, that's the one that we're gonna be editing and then how we're going to start the file as well, or start the miner. But the pool that you're gonna wanna use is called eZill. So what this does is it allows you to mine both Zill and Ethereum, or if you're interested in Ethereum Cash, you can do that as well. Um, this is just kind of an interesting little calculation here. If you had, say, 100 mega hashes of mining power, if you were just mining Ethereum, you're going to earn about $8.11 a day. If you had Ezil with uh, set up on Ezil here, you're going to earn about $8.38 a day with the extra Zill that you're making. Here you can see that it is a 26 cent difference, so it's not huge, but like I said, you're mining six zill a day, so if that goes up in price, that's automatic profits for you since you were already mining anyways. So it's a really cool way to get a little bit of extra cryptocurrency, expand the portfolio, and just look into some different coins. So what you'll do is just come down here and say start mining, um, and then what you do is you're going to have to get a wallet. So I have my Zill address here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my Zill. Go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to wallet and search for Ethereum and say receive and copy and paste this in there. So you can see that edited these files here. I'm using Phoenix Miner if you did wanna use uh, T-Rex or LOL. I did do a video on LOL Miner. It's another good one. Thought I'd do one here today on Phoenix, but what you do is just go ahead and copy this, and once you've done that, go back to your file and right-click and say Edit, and this is where you see all of the information. So on here, if I bring this up instead of the File Explorer, we want to go from right about where it says Phoenix Miner all the way down to pause. So just like that. Oh, it actually looks like it did not put the pause in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and manually type pause. Then what you'll do is go ahead and say save. 
that'll just overwrite the original file in the miner. And then all you have to do is double click and start that miner. So as you can see, it does want to get some uh, firewall stuff and all of that. But just like that, it's connected and receiving jobs. So super easy to set up, just kind of once you know about it. Um, but I am going to stop this here just because I am doing the video. Well, I'll see if we can wait and get some mega hashes just to show that it does run that simply. Um, but really, it is that easy. You can see I have a 1660 Ti. That's what it's running on. And we're getting about 21 mega hashes, which is probably right about where I'd expect to be with recording a video and this card. Um, it is going to go up a little bit. And you can do overclocking if that's something that you're comfortable with. But if you're not familiar with your GPU or overclocking, you will want to be careful because as you can see, without any overclocks, my GPU is at 100%. So this is going to use your GPU. You'll probably want to turn this off if you're going to be playing games or anything like that. But in your free time, this is a great way to earn some extra money. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. But uh, you'll want to make sure you have good cooling and good... Uh, overclocks if you are going to be overclocking. So mining does put an extra little bit of strain on your computer, but it is a good way to get into cryptocurrency, especially like this where you're earning two cryptocurrencies just for mining one, um, one miner on one computer. So it's kind of rare that you get to see things like this, but I think this is definitely really cool. If you are using something like Hive OS or something like that, they do have set up over here as well. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, let me know why you didn't like it down in the comments below. And if you have any questions or comments about this program or anything else cryptocurrency related, again, leave a comment down below or check out the Discord at the link in the description below. So please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.